This is part one of the SEER subject headings and subject classifications. This session will help you with the final module and the cataloging project. Dewey determines the physical location of an item by its related discipline. So all history, for example, will go in the 900s, regardless of the area or content of specific historical event. There are specific areas in the 900 and other Dewey sections for specific time periods or countries, but in general, if it's related to the history discipline, it's going to be in the 900s. Literature, for example, will be in the 800s and pure science in the 500s. Subject classification is a more refined classification and it deals with the actual content of the book in a very specific way. It attempts to provide the user with a much more in-depth access to the information in a collection. Subject classification goes further in providing access in that it curates or puts together all books, videos, library resources about a specific subject. So, all books, videos, film strips, instructional materials, or anything else on desert animals, for example, would come together in a list that would be used to generate a search. It does not matter about the format or whether it's fiction or nonfiction. Subject classification helps the user find all related content in a collection and it lists it together. So a person looking for information by or about Maya Angelou, for example, would find books in the 800s that pertain to poems, 900s about information um, such as biographies, and fiction which would pertain to novels. There are types of subject headings and the various forms are topical, form, geographic, and names. Topical subject headings are the most commonly used and the most frequent type of headings used to access an item. Literary warrants refers to the practice of using the, the language or terminology of an item to describe the contents or subject of the work. Topical subject headings provide uniformity and consistency from work to work if they are about the same subject. This is where using a standard subject authority such as Sears or Library of Congress is so helpful and necessary. Not all subjects can be included in one volume as in Sears or in multiple volumes like the Library of Congress. Directions are given for creating new subject headings for such things as names, places, and events. When these are created by the librarian, there should be a record kept so that the same heading can be used again for similar materials. This practice maintains the uniformity of the subject headings assigned to the materials in the collection. Using a standard subject authority also helps you select clear, unambiguous subject headings so that the subject of the work is clearly stated. An example would be the topic of depression. Are we talking about mental health? or the historical event of the early 20th century. The use of parenthetical qualifiers in the subject headings help you to select the most precise subject headings that clearly describes the content of the work. So these are some examples of topical subject headings and you can see how they're written and what their subdivisions are. Another example of a topical subject heading would be using the topic of modernism. If it had to deal with aesthetics, it would deal with art, so those books would be in the 700s. If you talked about modernism as a form of theology, then that would be dealing with religion, so those books would go in the 200s. Geographic subject headings are fairly easy to determine and understand. These headings simply tell us that the work is about a certain geographic location. It might be a country, a state, a city, a mountain range, a river, or etc. The content of the work is, deals primarily with the geographic location. There are patterns given in Sears for geographic headings because all of the possible subject headings in this category cannot possibly be included in one or multiple volumes. Since Sears was developed in the United States, it uses the United States and geographic locations within the United States as the pattern for other geographic headings. 
These are some examples of geographic subject headings. For countries, you're going to use the name of the country. For states, use the name of the state. For cities, you're going to use the city with the state in parentheses. In creating name subject headings, it's a good idea to check the Library of Congress name authority file. The title for this subject heading that appears in some marked record displays is subject added entry, personal name, and we write that AE colon personal name. The subject added entry personal name is different from the added entry personal name. The added entry personal name is for additional authors, editors, illustrators, etc. from the 245 tag in the MART record. The added entry personal name is located in the 700 tag. The subject added entry personal name is located in the 600 tag. The mention of the personality being placed in the 600 tag may appear in the 520 summary note in the MART record. These are two different categories of personal names for a work. Added entry personal name has to do with the creation of the work, artistic, literary, etc., while the subject added entry personal name is for the content or who the work is about. Again, it is important to be consistent with the use of names in subject added entry personal name. Library of Congress has an authority file you, can use also, you also can use encyclopedias or a who's who to get the full and correct name for an individual, corporation, or a movie. All of these may appear in the subject added entry personal name area, such as this example here. It is possible to locate people and corporations using the Library of Congress authority files. Locating the person, etc. here will give you the correct name and dates associated with the name and any titles of address that should be included. Form headings are a little trickier and since the form headings can also be used as topical headings and subdivisions as well as genre headings, it does get a little more difficult. Dictionaries, encyclopedias, and so on are easy to assign if necessary or warranted. Form headings use the main entry literary forms such as fiction, poetry, drama, and essays that are used primarily for collections of works in that form. Poetry anthology or collection, collection of essays, collection of plays, and so on. The minor literary forms, science fiction, and children's plays may be used as genres and are usually used with individual works. In the MART record, 650 tag will be used as the topical subject headings and may also be used to show the form subject headings. MART records also have a 655 tag that you may add form or genre added entry. This is not the same as a subject added entry, but it does give you a way to locate specific genres. We will not be assigning form subject headings, but we will look at the form and genre added entries and the, 60, and the 655 tag. We will look at the 650 tags and see how they are used to show the forms of literary works. These are some examples of form subject headings. This concludes this part and you will watch part, part two in another file.